death is atypical in sports. We see the athletes that we dream of to be immortal are just like us, made of mass and bones. Death is inevitable, but some sports are another name of death. Today in this video, we will be talking about those athletes who died right after they were engaged in their love sports. So, let's start the video. Number 10. Hank Gathers Although basketball is one of the safest game, it is still known to suffer live deaths on the field. Hank Gathers is one of the victims. He died at the age of 23. Although he was just a college basketball player, he was still beloved by everyone thanks to his incomparable performance. He didn't die because of an injury on the field, but just like most of the athletes, he died from cardiac arrest. It was a West Coast Conference game. He performed an alley-oop pass and was going back to the midfield where he collapsed on the ground. He regained a little consciousness and was rushed to the nearest local hospital, where he died at the age of 23. He was known to have a cardiac disease and was prescribed pills a long ago before the match and he was cleared to play basketball. The autopsy report revealed that he died of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Number 9. Nodar Kumaridashvili Nodar Kumaridashvili was a Luj athlete participating for his Olympic game. Although in Luj, an athlete can averagely go at the speed of 144.8 km per hour, the number of deaths is surprisingly very low, which is a very good thing. But Nodar became one of the victims of Luj. In February 2010, Nodar was having his final training run where he lost control and was thrown off the luge. He hit an exposed steel pole at the traveling speed of 143.6 kilometers per hour. Soon he was surrounded by medics where cardiopulmonary and resuscitation was performed. Soon he was rushed to the nearest hospital where he died from the injury. He became the 16th athlete to die from luge all over the world. Number 8. Wilf Slack Although cricket is one of the safest looking sports to play, it is still known to take the lives of young athletes. There have been only 16 players who died during the play, where most of them were English. This is Wilf Slack, an English cricketer who died at the age of 34. Wilfred Norris Slack was an English cricketer where he played three test matches and one ODI, one day international. The cause of death was not any injury, but his suffering health. In 1998, he suffered several blackouts during the pay and the training sessions. Tons of trained tests ran on him, but the cause could not be found. Despite his ill health, he continued playing until his last one on January 15, 1989. He was batting at a match in Banjul where he collapsed and lost consciousness. He was rushed to the nearest hospital where he was declared dead at the age of 34. The cause of death and his low health were later revealed as a damaged artery. Number 7. Malik Joyeux Malik Joyeux was a well-gifted surfer and all-around waterman. He was known as Petit Prince among his fans. He is deadly known for surfing the largest wave ever recorded in history. But his legend also had to join the Hall of Fame on December 2, 2005. He was riding an 8-foot wave in Hawaii where he was accidentally slowed down due to the sinking of his surfboard tip. He recovered balance quickly, but he was struck by the tip of the wave. The impact broke his surfboard and he couldn't be found near his board. The surfers went out to look for his body and was found after 15 minutes at Pupukea Beach Break and was brought back. The medics tried to resuscitate but failed to do so. The autopsy report revealed the cause of death was unconsciousness. Number 6. Fran Crippen Fran Crippen was an open water swimmer from America. The start of his career was as a pool swimmer, but later he joined open water swimming in 2006. 
He was competing in the 2010 FINA 10K series in Fujaira, where he couldn't be found by his former American swimmer, Alex Meyer. Alex began a search for Crippen along with other swimmers, but when they couldn't find him on the finished ground, the swimmers began to search for his body. After one and a half hours of searching, they found him away from the shore about 500 yards. He was rushed to hospital, but he was suspected to be dead on arrival. He was just 26 years old when he played his favorite sport. Number 5. Ryan Shea Ryan Shea had won several USA Championship titles in long-distance running. This athlete died at just the age of 28 when his health was in its prime. He was on the run like always at U.S. Olympic Marathon Trials in New York. During the run, he collapsed to the ground at a speed of 8.9 kilometers per hour. He was rushed to the nearest hospital, where he was declared dead after 40 minutes of arrival. A detailed autopsy report revealed that he died from cardiac arrhythmia caused by cardiac hypertrophy with fibrosis of etiology. Long term short, he died of natural causes. Number 4. Bert Yancey Bert Yancey was an American golfer. It comes to me as a tragedy that now a peaceful play like golf has joined the list of heartbreaks. Bert Yancey, the full name Albert Winsboro Yancey, has won seven PGA Tours. Bert Yancey was practicing for the PGA Franklin Quest Championship on August 26, 1994. While practicing, he collapsed to the ground, swallowing his tongue. The Golfer Association declared he died because of a heart attack. Bert was also suffering from manic disorder in the past. At the time of his death, he was 56. He was deadly known for his precise drives. Number 3. Alex Marquez Alex Marquez was a Portuguese young soccer player whose life was just about to get started. His final match was between Turizense and Carapinheirense. He fell to the ground after seven minutes of the third division match. He was found unconscious on the pitch and the players ran over to help him and medics rushed over. He was taken to hospital but died on the way in ambulance. This young blood died at the age of 20. Number 2. Wouter Wayland After a peaceful game like golf, now cycling is down the list. Wouter Wayland was a Belgian professional cyclist who played for UCI Pro Team Quickstep and Leopard Trek during the prime of his career. He has won several matches, like the 17th stage of the 2008 Vuelta a España and the third stage of the 2010 Giro d'Italia. Wouter Wayland was about to go downhill for the final part of the race Giro d'Italia in 2011. He was cycling down at a speed of 80 km per hour when he looked behind before a quick turn to check up on the statistics. He then lost control and hit a low wall ahead while his foot was on the pedal. He was then thrown away to the right where another obstacle struck him. The medics were just behind him in a service car and tried to resuscitate him, but he suffered severe trauma and that was irreversible. One of the medics reported he hadn't seen a quick death like this. He was dead on impact. He died at the age of 26. Number 1. Lane Frost Lane Frost is one of the most well-known bull riders. He had won the 1987 PRCA World Champion and a 1990 Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. He was also the only rider who scored points in 1987 PRC Bucking Bull of the Year and 1990 Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame Bull named Red Rock. But everybody knows bull riding is one of the most dangerous sports ever. He was riding a bull named Taken Care of Business when he scored 85 points in Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo in Wyoming. He jumped from the bull, but the bull turned beside him and hit him from behind with his horns. He waved his hand for help and took a couple of steps, but fell to the ground. He was then rushed to the hospital where he was declared dead. Although no autopsy was performed, the cause of death 
was broken ribs that got inside his heart and lungs. I know there are hundreds of athletes who died during their prime, and all of them need to be remembered. May they rest in peace whose only goal was to fight for their team and country. Now don't forget to comment down your thoughts on this sad memorial topic. If you guys liked our video, press the thumb up and subscribe to the channel for more athletic videos. In the end, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so they may be remembered again.